Dodge Barracuda, also known as Dodge Cuda, is real, it's happening, and it's coming to dealerships either sooner or later. We just don't know when, but it is coming. Let's talk about it. YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Knockout360 here with another video for you guys. So as you can tell, I'm in the car that makes this a car blog. You're gonna know it's going down when I come around. Let's go ahead and get into it, man. First things first, car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets, and anything and everything car related happens on this channel, right? So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around because you're in the right place. Let me get my beard straight. <clears throat> For everyone else, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out, right? So let's talk about it. All right, so basically uh, in a video, a couple videos back, guys, I was basically explaining to you guys that um, for 2023, before the big 2024 reveal of the all-electric battery-powered muscle car, 2023... Uh, or 2022, actually, Dodge would be dropping a mystery car, right? We knew that they were going to be uh, bringing out some sort of hybrid Dart-like car, right? That's just going to be your standard passenger vehicle, but they're going to be pushing the uh, the hybrid aspect. We already knew that. Uh, we knew that um, they're probably going to do an update to the Charger and Challenger, just the engine, you know, probably just give you a bigger supercharger, something like that, something basic. But we also talked about a mystery car that Dodge would be releasing in 22-23. Uh, reports are saying that it is, in fact, the Dodge Barracuda. Now, it originally was the Plymouth Cuda, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, obviously, Plymouth isn't around. Plymouth is Dodge, Dodge is Plymouth. So it is gonna be a Dodge Barracuda. Um, as far as what we're looking at here, to my understanding, it will be very much so a V8 powered um, I was going to say muscle car. I'll say that a VA powered muscle car. And I say that to say starting from the top, working its way all the way down to the bottom Hellcat engine and the Barracuda looking at a 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Sounds familiar, right? Um, putting down a little over 700 horsepower coupled with the latest version of the ZF eight speed automatic that was recently announced. The Cuda would be able to do zero to 60 sprint in around 3.1 seconds, which is respectable. And what makes the Cuda so interesting and so appealing, I'll say, is it's looking like it's gonna be a two door muscle car. So we're talking about Dodge Challenger status, but it's gonna be lighter, it's going to be more agile and it's going to have better handling, which is literally what Mopar heads have been asking for for the last five years with our cars. We've been asking for a lighter platform because, you know, like I know, we got all the power in the world, but that means nothing when our cars weigh an average of 4,000, 4,200, 4,500 pounds. Hellcats are coming in right under 4,500 pounds, if not right at um, scat packs are right at about 4,000, 4,200 We've got heavy cars, we've got big engines, but we got really heavy cars, which kind of defeats itself or defeats the purpose of the big engine, right? So this car is significantly going, is to, uh, to my understanding, gonna be significantly lighter. We're looking at about 36 to 3,800 pounds. That's a, a 700 pound, you know, diet right there. That's all we need right there. That is all we need to beat these cars out here. <clears throat> 700 pounds shaved off the top, with that big 700 horsepower Hellcat engine, we beat everything, simple and plain. This is what they asked for. This is what we asked for. This is what they're giving us. <clears throat> they're figuring the top speed around 200 miles per hour, which is relatively par for the course considering it's a Hellcat engine. Um, they're saying that the mid-level will be a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, um, which you know we've we've already come to know and love. Um, being said, the 5.7 liter, which also works for the same hybrid is not out of the question, but they are pushing for, um, the normally aspirated unit is expected to work with the company's e-torque 48 volt mile hybrid setup. 
and that's the 3.6 liter. So one thing the Dodge is going to start doing, and you'll start noticing this over the years, they're going to start introducing their hybrid and electric systems into the engines, right? Slowly but surely. They're not just going to one day wake up and say, okay, no more Hellcat, no more Hemi, everything's hybrid from now on. Slowly but surely, just like they did with Ram, they're going to start introducing that e-hybrid or e-torque um, hybrid system, right? So the Cuda is expected to have a 3.6 liter Pentastar V6 engine, but they're also talking about um, adding the 48 volt hybrid system, 48 volt mild hybrid system to the Pentastar. And they're even talking about a Tiger Shark inline four engine. Uh, you'll be able to spec the Cuda with a 2.4 liter Tiger Shark inline four engine that has the Fiat Chrysler developed multi air two intake system. 2.4 liter Tiger Shark. 2.4 liter Tiger Shark inline four engine. That's like, what is that? Like Honda Civic territory at that point? Honda Civic, Honda Accord territories. You should be getting three, four, five, six hundred miles to the gallon on an engine such as that. So they're going to give you a wide variety of those engines. Now, they didn't say anything about Scat Pack 392 engines. Um, they didn't say anything about uh, Daytona engines or Daytona trims, anything like that. But they did state that it's going to be much lighter than um, the normal Hellcats that we're used to, right? Which is great for us. They didn't say anything about all-wheel drive, which would be, I mean, that would be perfect. That would literally be the perfect muscle car. All-wheel drive, 3,800 pounds, 700 horsepower. Cuda would dominate anything. And I do mean anything. The same way that you see Trackhawks out here beating Lamborghinis and, and McLarens and other SUVs, obviously other SUVs. I mean, that would be what the Cuda would be. But I think Dodge is listening. They understand that in the past they've made heavy muscle cars. In the past they've made um, boxy muscle cars, specifically the Challenger. And I think that they're going to right some of those wrongs with this one. And they're also going to start introducing their electronic option, right? Their electric engine option. I say that to say. Uh, the mild hybrid system is going to start coming in slowly, but surely you're going to see be, you know, pay attention to that, that I guess that engine, just because that's going to be introduced more often. We're going to see that more often. We're going to see that with the uh, new charges and challengers in 24. And that's probably just going to be a stable the same way that the Hemi is a stable a 5.7 is a stable Get ready to see that mild hybrid system being a stable as well 3.6 liter Venice uh, Pentastar, which is you know, we already know that 5.7 liter Hemi which may have the mild hybrid system We may not know but they're also going to offer that big 6.2 liter v8 supercharged Hellcat engine um, So I think it's great. I think it's great. Um I do think if this is true, it's going to eat out of the Challenger basket because, and I say that to say the, the at least the market is concerned, it's going to kind of take away from that just because why would you buy a heavier, bigger, slower, essentially, um, muscle car over something that you know is, pri is tried and, and true or tried and proven as faster, lighter, more agile, and gets the job done better. I mean, I, I don't know why you would buy that, which would kind of lead you to the to the opinion that maybe they would phase out the Challenger. I could be going far with that because it doesn't make sense to have, obviously they're not gonna fade out the Charger. The Charger has served so many purposes. I mean, from just your, your normal day-to-day -day drivers who go out and get V6s, to police officers, state troopers who drive 3.6 liters and 5.7s, all-wheel drive. You can't get rid of that. Hellcat, come on now, the most powerful sedan known to man. Hashtag bars. You can't get rid of the Charger. The Charger is irreplaceable. The Charger is in and of itself in its own... Um, you know, league, and it can't be removed. The Challenger, on the other hand, it's a different story. The Cuda comes out, two-door, lighter, faster, more agile, better handling, obviously going to have updated interior and everything like that. Who's going to buy a Challenger over a Cuda? You know what I'm saying? I understand as Dodge loyalists and enthusiasts, we're loyal, but the fact of the matter is, is if this car performs better and it looks better because it's going to be updated, you know, let's just keep it real. You know, the future, the, you know, if it looks better, performs better, nobody's going to buy the latter of the two. Nobody's going to buy the, the former, I guess I would say, of the two. Uh, the Challenger will be pushed out, but then again, we don't know how Dodge is going to market it. A lot of this is speculation, but I mean, I guess it's good speculation, if that makes sense. But uh, Dodge Barracuda, Dodge Cuda 
looks to be real. It looks to be in process or, you know, they're, they're getting it ready to come out. And that's probably going to be that mystery car that we talked about in 2022, 2023. And they're just going to drop that and surprise the hell out of everybody. And that makes sense because what it's going to do is that's going to take the pressure off of the Charger and Challenger being redesigned, right? They give us a brand new car, brand new specs, something we've never seen before. We automatically forget that the Charger and the Challenger is almost seven years old right we forget about that we move on to the cuda and then two years later 2024 rolls around boom they give us an all-electric whatever now mind you they never said that it was going to be an all-electric charger or challenger right they never specified that they never specified that it was going to be a charger or a challenger the only thing that i think they alluded to was that the charger and the challenger the v8 wasn't going anywhere so we can count on the v8 being around but nobody said that the all-electric muscle car that Dodge is going to be releasing in 24 was a Charger or a Challenger. That was just speculation. That could very much so be a Cuda or something completely different. But as always, guys, it's your boy Knockout360, man. Dodge Barracuda, Dodge Cuda looks to be all but confirmed. It looks like it's coming and uh, coming soon to a dealership near you. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment. See you guys in the next one. Peace.